Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is Mia Games Tycoon 2 Legendary Let's Play, episode 41, 1997, summer, summer slump, plus we got a semiconductor shortage, which is hurting our console sales. So my console sales are pretty much in the tank right now, but this event's going to end, hopefully soon. Summer slump's going to end, um, not soon, because it just started. Ooh, actually, yeah, the sales are going to go down even more than what they already are, because the summer slump technically... It just started, but the results, like you're going to see a dip, which sucks. So we're probably going to lose money for these two months, but fortunately I have $550 million in the bank. And I'm okay with having that big uh, cushion in the bank, right? I think that's the play. Uh, so we're just got an ad on here that we're going to put out. We just want to market it up a little bit, but I don't really, I want to, I want to, I want this to build. I'm, I'm still paranoid that something's going to go wrong. And this whole run's going to fall apart because it's on legendary difficulty. And I have heard people in the comments say that, you know, while the early game is hard, they have gone through the early game but still failed late. So that makes me scared, right? <laughs> so hopefully I can continue to succeed. All right, 80 to 100 for this uh, add-on, which is for Duel of the Wizards 3, which has already sold 1.2 million copies and is still selling very well. Right. So that's why we want to get an add-on out there out there for it. It will continue to sell well. And the add-on should sell well as, as well. Right? Um let's raise this price to $25. $19 prop. I think that's fair for an add-on. Middle is upset that we didn't publish it. Then we didn't get any stars. Was I hoping to get stars? I was probably hoping to get stars. If I was, that's unfortunate. Um, I don't recall specifically. But it's okay. Because it's 93%. All right, I'm just checking. Oh, all kinds of room in my storeroom. I'm kind of worried. Why is my storeroom always empty? You'd think it would start building up, right? Like, as I got more sales. I guess I don't have as many games on the market at a time anymore. Yeah, 19,000 Luchera Orcs uh, per month, 10,000 Goblin Pros. But again, summer's going to end in five weeks. This event hopefully is going to end relatively soon as well and the plan was to make a sim game a simulation not airplanes versus dragons uh i believe it was going to be where's my other sim zombie hordes three because this is a more valuable ip so we'll leave this at double a for now it's a pretty good chance that gets bumped up triple a but we're not going to do it until we need to there's no simulation uh, specific licenses there are not specific I mean you can you can use any license for any type but it's better to have it be good right the way you're doing like this it's only two stars it was only for one game but it's cheap so we'll just throw it in there right why not sim engine where are you at sim engine way down there multi-platform or do I want to try an exclusive for the orc let's go multi-platform for now we will go with the internet capable ones also for now, but we will see what features uh, apply. Maybe the internet ones aren't important for this, right? We don't need them, in which case we can go with the game station instead of the Uranus, right? The Uranus. I am not going to make an anus joke, I swear. Um, all right, so what are those sliders supposed to be down at the bottom? Is that where they're supposed to be for a simulation game? Or is this still where we had the sliders pre mocap studio? Why am I not seeing any simulations as I scroll through this list? <laughs> oh, well, I'm in the wrong list for one thing. Would help if you went to the right list, Looch. And we can just check airplanes versus dragons. 10, 40, 20, 30. No, this is what we want it to be. So this is correct. All right, so turn on everything. 49 to 40. So yeah, this is going to be a triple A game, I think. Um, both of the internet ones matter, so we will leave the the Sega console on there. Um, triple A. We have made money on triple A. My well, my one one and only triple A game. Yeah, I've only made the one so far, but it uh it's made eleven million dollars in profit somehow. I was surprised. I honestly thought it was gonna lose money. I thought it would come close to making money. But I thought it would lose money. So, yeah, we need to find some stars in this engine stuff. But, I mean, we're full on 32-bit sound. We got three stars in AI, three stars in graphics. It's 
not like we have zero stars in anything, right? I guess is what I'm trying, what I'm hinting at that I should probably just explicitly say instead of hinting around at it. So I think it'll be fine. I don't think that's going to hurt us, right? I think this will be, I expect 98% review score out of this, just straight up. If, I, if it's not 96 or better, I'm going to be upset. Like, do I need more cleaning robots? And there's just the one mess. We should be fine. All right, what's going on over here? You're maxed. You need graphics or sound training. Um, put you in the graphics room to train for now. Yeah, and the backup development team is working on a commission work. Research uh, has hardware stuff, but none of this is relevant. We only want tech level five or higher. Maybe this case for stationary would will be good. And yeah, it's three years old, probably not. I might have to research it later. If I do, I do. Support, we have more than we need for support. Um, eventually we'll need more support, but for now, doing well. Everything's going well. Like, I'm just thrilled with how well this run is going. I mean, I did have to restart once, but that was like, I don't know, 38 episodes ago. <laughs> the ancient history, that. Like, look at all these games profitable. And I mean, these two aren't yet, but I think they will be. All right, obviously we're going to go with the large booth. Um, well, I mean, let's just put the three games here that can actually use hype, right? Because <laughs> once you're over 100 hype, you can only gain hype from over hype. And get our two consoles back up to 100. It should help because, hey, that event's over. And now the summer slump is half over. And we got some things to research. Many things to research, actually. <laughs> um more oh my god like how many graphics like it feels like every two months we get new graphics oh my god all right let's do the gameplay feature first because we'll probably be able to add it or we will be able to add it. it's just a question of whether or not i want to add it right um i don't think anything needs a demo nope nothing needs a demo so my marketing team's going to put all their thumbs for a bit i guess we could do market research See what the next trend is going to be. What we think it's going to be, at least. Right? They, they're not necessarily going to be right. I think it's going to be skill. Evolution-based skill game. 25% of players have access to the internet. So it's still too early for an MMO, in my opinion. Um, I feel like, it's particularly in Legendary, MMOs cost a ton. A ton. Just Well, they always cost a ton. But I do not want to commit to an MMO until I'm sure it's going to succeed. Because I'm on legendary difficulty. Uh, mod support. How important is it? Oh, it's very important. So let's definitely add that. Unfortunate that it's a zero star thing, but that's fine. So yeah, so this game's taking a little longer because it's AAA. Although I did expand um, all my rooms last episode. Well, I guess I didn't expand the mocap studio, but I did fill it. Right, It wasn't full uh, originally. We got already two maxed out people here. You need graphics or sound. So let's throw you in graphics. Ooh, online leaderboards, but that I don't think I'm going to be able to add because I believe mod support put me at 50 at 50 for that game. All right, so there's going to be nobody in the gameplay training room at all, and that's okay, I guess. Where you want? Uh, you want graphics or sound? All right, so sound is full. You. Can go in the sound room. We have space for you in there. And I don't think there's anybody in here that needs training. Oh no, there is. Um, well, you sort by professional or best skill, either way it works. Actually, I don't like sorting by profession because it doesn't sort. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like sorting by profession because then I I can't just go to the bottom to see if somebody needs training. Right? All right, so now that room is full. That's okay. Um, are my last researcher finally maxed out? So all my researchers are maxed, which is nice. That's valuable. It's very valuable. All right, no, everything's going well. All right, what do we want my secondary development team to do? We can do a free update for something, like puzzle or maybe. Pre-update for Puzzler. Have we done one yet? No, let's do a pre-update for Puzzler then. It's only 2 million. 
That's fine. All right, Summer Slump is over. How are my console sales? Oh, yeah, up to 45,000, 21,000. Actually, I'm still kind of disappointed in those numbers. I mean, obviously, it's better. I mean, you can see the how much they've gone up. But we do have a lot of hardware stuff coming in here. Um, so let's get all this tech level 5 stuff. And then we're going to have to look. We may be able to revise this console soon. All right, you are full. You are meant to be a graphic designer. So let's put you in the graphic design room. Is anybody else full anywhere here? There's nobody in this room. Maybe you go in there? Nope, you need graphics or sound. There is room in the graphics room for you. There is space in the graphics room for you, I should say, I guess. Uh, where are you going? Where do you belong? You want to go in the graphics room as well. All right, so well, now there's no more space in there. That's okay. That's okay. All right, so we can start doing uh, pre-release for the press or just pre-release special marketing. At this point, it's far enough along, I think. And we are going to do overhype. I'm just going to assume that's going to work. <laughs> it might not. It might be a bad idea. And they got through that fast. And Or it just won't work. All right, so let's do a demo. I mean, it's only two hype, but that'll get it to 100 hype. All right, hardware, tech level five hardware, four gig DVD. All right, what type of game am I going to make next? Um, Probably, should I do a skill game? Maybe a tech level three skill game? Oh, the trend is about to change. So maybe I should just do nothing till the end of the week. Okay, trend is indeed skill game. Skill engine is currently at tech level two. So we're going to upgrade it all the way to tech level three. This three though, that's it for now. And we're gonna put out a tech level three game. This pretty good chance is gonna be my last tech level three game, but I wanna get another game out with the Goblin Pro, right? A little exclusive, but yeah, look at that. There's one, two, three, four tech level four graphics. That's crazy. Like there's only been one tech level four sound. Oh well, I mean, it's fine. And we will see if a tech level Three game can actually be good right now. Or is it too late for tech level three to be relevant? I don't know. Possibly. What do we think the next trend is going to be? So they were right. So yeah, there were three quarters right. They were right about skill and evolution. Wrong about building game. Correct about gods. So that's fine. That's that's good. All right, sound team. Oh. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to make a tech level five console here. All right. Sound team is done. Graphics team is almost done. QA is bug fixing. Mocap is done. They're polishing and main development team is almost done. So everything's looking good there. So we got CPU. Uh, oh, we got somebody maxed out here. You need a bit of programming. Wait, okay. You're maxed out. You need graphics or sound. Those rooms are full, but not full anymore. Yeah, we only have room for one more graphic designer, though, in there. Well, now, but I think most of, the, most of these people are actually meant for the main development room, right? We got another game tester that's maxed. All right, so yeah, now you can learn graphics. Like, if you look in here, there's one more graphics artist. Oh, you're supposed to be over here. But now it's too full. So now, I mean, I, I don't need to expand it, but I'm going to expand it. Just like one row, though. That's all we need. That's all we need. Two extra desks that we don't really need. And probably don't need these radiators either, but whatever. There we go. Everybody's happy. Um, what about you? You're maxed out. All right, Puzzler of the Dragons, great grandson six, off the market, made nine million, almost ten million dollars. That's a win. You just need graphics and music and sound. All right, let's just continue development on this for a minute while I deal with this fella. So you can go up in the graphics room. Yeah, I believe everybody in here now. 
DAO and artist programmer, programmer, game designer. Yes, everybody in here is uh, not a game a graphic designer by trade, right? Which is what we want. Well, I guess I can just check right there is a much <laughs> faster way to see. Yeah, all these people are meant for this room, which is going to need to get bigger. I guess I'm going to have to span right out to the wall here soon. I have all kinds of space left, right? It's not like I'm crunched for space at the moment. Holiday season coming up is going to be good as well. Yeah, the little chair will work. It's going to be profitable eventually. Because once we get it up to tech level 5, it's going to have a big jump. All right, so now we can release zombie hordes. Yeah, that engine is ready in particular. Means it's ready to be released. Finished development. Self-distribution, of course. High score. New high in everything. That's always encouraging as well, obviously. And, okay. Stars in a lot of things. Love to see it. And, I mean, and more in particular, you know, maxed out in this now right so next time we use it it's maxed this is a relatively ooh, only 96 percent i'm not upset but i'm close to upset right that's is that what i said i think I, that if it's not 96 or higher i'm going to be upset well i was almost upset all right sequel skill alien invasion seven Uh, pretty sure this is going to be at least double A. This may end up being triple A. I do not have um, one that's suited. Or suited is the wrong word. What's the word I'm looking for here? Optimized. I don't have one that's optimized for skill. Well, I do now. All works. So it's a skill puzzle game. There's that skill engine right there. This is going to be manufacturer exclusive. Now, we can't include anything that's has internet, right? Everything looks good here. Um, these, pretty sure, are supposed to be like this. Let's put it like, let's go like that. No, let's go like that. That's fine. All right, so turn on everything, but no online leaderboards, no voice over IP, no online multiplayer. So 38 to 40, so this will be just double A. Which is good. Because it's, you know, an exclusive, so it's probably going to lose money. <laughs> a AAA would probably... A AAA exclusive at this point would lose a ton of money. But there's a part of me that, like, wants to try it. Because if it does, if it is a good game, it may move a ton of consoles. It's risky, though, right? But considering how much my bank account has gone up this episode, and my this episode included... A negative event for console sales and the summer slump and i've still made money i mean summer slump's over now because the holiday season obviously is where you make your big sales we might even be able to get this out for at least part of the holiday season right it's only it's only double a it's only tech level three it should be relatively fast to make in theory in theory all right, so let's do a pre-update for Zombie Hordes. Or is it too early? It's too early. Let's wait. What type of game am I going to make next? We're chasing the trend right now. Uh, what else is popular and not super saturated? I still haven't made a third-person shooter or a visual novel, but I kind of want to use them as sub-genres first just to get that first star out of the way. Ooh, RTS is looking pretty good right now. What is ignored? But IPs are ignored. Ooh, Inner Park Baseball. Yeah, I'm overdue for an Inner Park Baseball because that's been a relatively successful one. Eco Sim, it's not super popular, but it's not saturated. So yeah, we're going to do uh, an Inner Park Baseball next. So we're going to update our Eco Engine or our Tycoon Engine um, with the best tech level 4 stuff. Including brand new graphics yet again. Which is kind of funny. All right, research team is currently unoccupied. Hopefully they haven't been sitting idle for too, too long. Yeah, once we get this graphics and sound card, I think I'm pretty close to upgrading my console. There may be one or two things still needed, but not many. 
pretty confident. All right, so Duel of the Wizards 3, the add-on, that could use a demo. Let's get that out. The Sega Reamcast has been announced. Oh, Alien Invasion 7 lost a bunch of gameplay points because one of my dummy level designers overrode a level. Somebody's trying to get fired. Yeah, we can expect a nice jump in console sales here. The holiday season hits. All right, we got some maxed out folks. All right, so this is a musing sound person, but it's a musing sound person that's meant for the main development room. So they need to go up to the graphics room and then they will be done. That is their last stop on their training journey. Maxed out game tester. Where do you need to go? Um, graphics or sound. So let's put you in the sound room considering the graphics room is currently full. What about you? You need graphics or sound, but they're both full. So you're just going to have to chill for a little bit, I think. Less than ideal, right? Not optimal, but it's fine. We can manage. Got a legendary um, graphics artist, but legendaries... Legendaries are a money trap, especially at this point in the game, right? We can easily hire somebody that's close to legendary and train them up to legendary in like no time at all, right? I think now is the time for a free update for zombie hordes, right? That for that first initial four week shine is about to come off, right? So now is probably the time. Ooh, we won best graphics. We did not win best soundtrack. I'll take it though. This is better than we usually do. And Puzzler, oh yeah, the Puzzler IP is going to be valuable now, up to 4.2. Oh, okay, now, now we'll be ready once we up uh, get research all this. I'm pretty sure this is everything. Well, let's check. Let's just check. Let's just cancel this task. Console, revised model. So there, okay, so this is what we're researching right now. Sound chip is also there to research. Yes, we will be able to make a tech level. We will we will be able to revise up to tech level five, even though you know there's no tech level five engine stuff yet. It'll come eventually. All right, so they might as well twitter the thumbs while we wait for that stuff. Um, I just realized this game is almost done, and I need to get the beta demo and pre-release for the press out. This game was a little faster to get made than I expected. All right, so we're just waiting for marketing here, I think. All the rooms are done. Yes. Okay, so the demo was a failure. So if I want to overhype it, I got to do a TV spot first. So this is going to kind of suck. So we got to wait for the TV spot. TV spots aren't quick, but hey, it means lots of polishing. <laughs> Definitely no chance of hidden bugs, right? And then overhype. Hopefully the overhype works. Otherwise, this would be a giant waste of time. All right, and then we grab the sound chip, and then we grab the new case and the new controller. All right, so let's grab the new case and the new controller first. And then overhype. Oh, better work. Better work. And we'll still get, especially because we're missing holiday season sales, <laughs> right? All right, overhype did work, so that's good. There's not enough toilets. I mean, we can technically make it bigger. And jam a few more toilets in here. Well, jam six more toilets in there. And let's make sure they're warm while they poo. Nobody wants to have a cold poo. Can we put posters on the wall? Can we put gold records in the bathroom? We can. Just think about this gold record while you're pooing, everybody. All right. Apparently, I'm trying to get demonetized this episode. <laughs> A lot of talk about anus and poo. And anyway, let's move on to Alien Invasion 7. Self distribution, of course. Ooh, so not many things we needed to start in, which is both good and bad. It means this game should be good, but it means we didn't get much experience for future games, right? Kind of a catch-22, I guess. But it did get us a nice 98%. Ooh, graphics was a little low. 
but I mean, it's still 94%, right? It's not, it's not like it's bad. How have my consoles been selling? 70K for the Orc, 26K for the Goblin Pro. The most important thing is this Orc, is, it's inching closer and closer to being profitable, which is all that really matters at this point in my mind. And like I said, once we revise it up to tech level five, it'll, it should have a big jump in sales. Traditionally, that's what happens. All right, so in the park baseball, where are you at? It's a decent IP, 1.7 stars. Um, we're going to go probably double A here, I would imagine. Possibly even triple A, but for now, we'll just leave it there. Yeah, the license, not a great license, but it's a license. And Tycoon Engine, Multi-Platform, PC, Mac, the Orc. Let's see what's out there for dev kits. Anything? Nope. <laughs> I was looking for something that's tech level 4 and internet capable. Looks like we're going to get that fifth star with the Uranus. <laughs> Whether I like it or not. Turn on all the languages. So yeah, my first time using modern 3D voxel graphics. But the other engine features we're pretty good with, so that's okay. Everything looks good here. These sliders, I'm pretty sure, are from before the days of having mocap. 50, 20, 10, 20. Yeah, so 50, 20, 10, 20. In theory, I'm going to push the gameplay back a little bit and get a little more tech. I think that'll work. Turn on everything here. All right, so I, I need to cut two features to keep it double A. I think I'll do that. Password saves and cheat codes. They're not needed. Um, we're at 40 40 though, so if something gets added midway through, we can't add it. That's fine. We definitely don't want to cut the internet ones, right? Online multiplayer, very important. Voice over P, very important. Online leaderboards, relevant. So this will be my first star in online leaderboards. So this will be a relatively cheap game to make, but I think it'll be good. Although those graphics were pretty expensive. As were the sounds. Ah, so not that cheap then. Um, how far behind on Game Report Semi? Four? Yeah, let's blast through those now, though. Just got to remember to switch them back once they're done. Shouldn't be an issue. All right, so that case is almost done. Must well market this game, since I'm not doing anything right now. How is the hype for my consoles? It's good. It doesn't need... Don't need to handle that quite yet, but soon. Soon. I guess technically I have space in my research room. What's out there for a researcher? Uh, 30? That's kind of low. I'm going to search. I think it's probably... Using search is probably better for that. All right. We got a couple maxed out people here. You are meant for the sound room. Lots of space for you in there. You are probably also meant for the sound room. And this game tester is definitely meant for the game testing room. There'd be nowhere else we'd be wanting to send them. And that's good, because that reminds me that uh, <laughs> those game reports are done. And you need graphics or sound. There should be space in the sound room now. Anybody else maxed out? No. All right. All right, so that case is done. And we need this controller. And then we need this sound chip, and we're ready to go. We're ready to uh, revise once again. Yeah, that, that was a pretty good holiday season for the York. Where does it sit in the all-time charts? Probably not that high, unfortunately. Well, this is all our, this is the all-time charts for games, so <laughs> not really going to find it here. But we've got to scroll down pretty far before we find a game that isn't mine, which is good to see. Oh, wow, it's only 15th. Yeah, it's going to be 14th soon, but... Yeah, so not great. The Goblin Pro is pretty good, though. Eighth all time, right? But ultimately, as much as I'd love to be at the top of these charts, as long as it's profitable, <laughs> I'm happy. Honestly, right? Like, let's be real. It just I just need it to be profitable. That's all that really matters. Alien Boxing 5. Profitable. Right, the aforementioned profitable. All right, so we need one researcher. Let's look for a specialist. Let's just get a specialist here. 
So that way they don't have to train for long. Boom, and end auto. I don't really want to find another one. Okay, I, I should have canceled instead of end auto, honestly. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Anything need a demo right now? So um, let's market a console. Let's get these consoles marketed up. I know 84 is, you know, a little on the high side. We don't need to be doing it yet, but seeing as how they're not doing anything, they're just kind of chilling. Might as well, right? All right, there we go. Sound chip, that's the last thing here. All right, we got somebody, a couple people maxed out in the sound room. But we don't have much room left in the sound room for people. It's filling up rapidly. We have room for one more. You're maxed out. You need sound or graphics. We're going to put them in the sound room first, though. All right, and this room is not doing anything. So what do we want to do? Um, should I do Lead Dead 3 and make it a first-person slash third-person shooter? Or what else would be good to make right now? Real, real, oh, real-time strategy. Yeah, let's do a real-time strategy. We kind of already said that that was going to be the plan right let's stick to it. let's stick with the plan so let's get all the best tech level four stuff yeah um what's what's called here alien invasion seven probably my last tech level three game it's not selling very well but it is an exclusive right so actually it's selling fairly well for an exclusive if i'm being honest i am not upset with those sales all right and you know what? I think I'm going to end this episode here. This looks like a good spot. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. There's a link in the description down below. Shout out to my patrons. I could not do this without them. Most importantly, though, folks, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.